Good evening, good evening, students. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, teacher. What were you today? Uh, for me, I enjoy my vacation with the family. Okay, that's good, perfect. You're still on vacation. Yes, yes, teacher. Awesome, that's perfect. What about you, Mariana? Everything okay, teacher. I drive to my home. I drive into my home right now. You're driving to your home. Good evening. Good evening. Welcome, Belen. Okay, awesome. Very good. So today we're going to start with the class. Um, We're going to have uh, a lot of activities to do today in the class because we are focused on the grammar sections too in order to work with the part of like uh, adjectives and others, right? Of course, I told you that I'm going to help you with some uh, verbs because I need you to work with some some verbs that are going to be useful for you as a present, past, simple past, and past participle. So today we're going to be working with that, okay? Um. We're going to give some time in order to the rest of your classmates to get connected in order to start with the class. Okay, very nice. How are you today, Belen? How do you feel? A little bit better, teacher, thank you. But, um. Maybe in the in the morning I was very well, and then in the afternoon I feel kind of bad, and I took the day off. Well, the middle of the day. Oh, so it means that you got sick uh the after in the afternoon. Yeah, but it's only the headache. But like I say, it's like migraña, and it's very hard for me because not all the pills can work on me, and it's like um. When I have this 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 headache, I have to looking for a pill that maybe can makes me feel better, and I already tried a lot of them, and it's like, yeah, it's like calm down and then returns and yeah, and obviously I cannot I can I can took a lot of the pills in 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 some short time so. It's like I used to it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I know the, the illness is complicated because um, I knew that because my mom has that problem too. She has migraine. And so um, she has a specific pill. I don't remember the name because when I go to visit her, is that she uh, used to tell me about the name of the pill because she got sick. And it's terrible because uh, you cannot like be able to listen to anybody you you don't want to hear anything else you just want to take a rest a rest it's it is the only thing that you can do for try to to calm down that that's that illness it's yeah it's complicated because in obviously i can i can to go i can take a lot of day offs in my work but i already have some vacation so that's oh. maybe. Okay. Nice. Very good. I hope you get better. Thank you, teacher. Okay, welcome. Okay, what about you, Walter? Well, welcome. How are you today? Hello. Good evening. Good evening. Excited because it's Friday. <laughs> it's Friday and the body knows it. <laughs> and the body knows it. Okay. After the class. After the class, we drink something. So, um, I just. <laughs> but don't you have to work tomorrow? No. No. Ah, that's good. No. So yes. it it makes sense for people who rest tomorrow. But in my case, I work tomorrow from seven a.m. to five thirty p.m. So it's not happy for me to come Friday. <laughs> all, all day. 
<laughs> okay, but it's, it's but it's easy for you. Oh, it's okay. I'm happy. <laughs> okay, what about you, Aminda? How are you today? Hello, good evening. Good evening. Uh, my day was a uh, tired because it's the last day of the week, and maybe uh, today was a, a how do you say, como acumular. I I accumulated. Okay, he accumulated it, the the many more things. the many things or the more items to to do in in, in all the week. Ah, oh, okay, very nice. Okay, I I understand. So, but to, tomorrow is free for you. Yes. Ah, that's perfect. Yes. That's perfect. Okay, very nice. Okay. That's good. Awesome. Okay, what about you, Devi? Good evening. Welcome. Good evening. What about what? Sorry. <laughs> How are you today? What's your day? <laughs> uh, so, ah. uh, my day was good. Okay. Yeah, good. Very nice. So, um, there was not much work to do. Um, no, uh, actually, in this moment, I. Uh, it's about to eat. Comer, I, I just about, just about to eat. Uh, so you're you're taking you're having your dinner right now. See, si, I have my dinner. Okay, enjoy Sorry. it. Thank you. Okay, very nice. What about you, Domingo? Welcome. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, class. Good evening. How are you today? Um, I tried. I tired. Right. I tired. Okay. <sighs> Very nice. A lot of work today. Um, complex. Complicated. Complicated. It ah. says, uh, um, for, uh, see, um, for, um, good morning. Okay. Um, it's complicated. Okay, very nice. Excellent. Vanessa, welcome. How are you today? Vanessa, I think your microphone is not like close to you. Hello? Yeah, a little bit better. How are you today, Vanessa? Uh, my... Hello? Hello, yes. Okay, okay. <laughs> well, my day it was good. I have a little bit of work to do and... I uh, this this day was was relaxing for me. <laughs> oh, perfect. That's good. So you are with all the energy to work. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Very nice. Excellent. Okay. So, uh, right now I'm going to take the attendance list. As soon as you listen your name, please send me present. Okay. Adela Trinidad Gonzalez Consuera. Aminda René Figueroa de Manzano. Present. Okay. Belén Batre García. Present, teacher. Okay. Carlos William Membreño Núñez. Debbie Yasmín Girón Ramírez. Present. Okay. Domingo Alexander González. Present. Very nice. Ever de Jesús Candray Montano. José Roberto Martínez Bernabé. Leticia Guadalupe García de Miranda. Mariano José Paca Santa María. Present teacher. Ok. Oscar Arnulfo Toro Herrera. Rose Mari Ventura de Arguello. Rosibel del Carmen López. Present teacher. Ok. Salvador Augusto Sorto Rivas. Sonia Ivette Alvarenga. Vanessa Noemí Rem Reyes Lemos. Walter Omar Castaneda Perlera. 
present. Okay, Wendy Karina Morales Amaya. Okay, very nice. Perfect. Teacher, so, yes. did you hear me? <laughs> yeah, I didn't, but right now, yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> Thank yes. you. Very good. <laughs> Excellent. Um, okay, right now we're going to start with the class. Uh, what do you remember about yesterday's class? Can you tell me about? Mm -hmm. What to use as, as. As, as, right? For comparatives, right? Okay, yes. so uh, what is like the, the right way to use it? Can you create a statement using as, as? Uh, we need to compare something uh, using uh, uh, as, as between adjectives. Okay, very nice, excellent, very nice. You need to create a statement between as, as, right? And between as, as, you need an adjective or maybe an adverb, right? Okay, very nice. For example, um, what kind of sentence can I use it in that way? Can you create a statement right now using as, as? I, I, I didn't remember if, I'm using as as, but I remember, for example, can I say, Karen is, um, as taller as Maria. As for example, taller. As tall, tall. As Maria. Yes. For example. Yes. Uh, what what was the name? Marcela, right? No, Karen. Karen, okay. Uh, and the sentence is Karen, right? Yeah, yes, okay. Karen, okay. Karen is as tall as Maria. Is as tall. Yes. He's okay. as tall as Maria. Okay. So the sen the correct sense statement is Karen is as tall as Maria, right? Okay. Do you remember that the meaning is tan como, right? El primer as significa tan y el segundo como. So, in other words, the meaning is tan alta como Maria, right? Okay, very nice. Um, people, do you know some adjectives? Can you mention some adjective that you know? Beautiful. Beautiful, yes, or beautiful. British or American Intelligent. pronunciation. Intelligent. Short. Short, okay. What else? Shine. Which one? Shine. Shy, yes. What another one? Try to remember some adjectives. Just for be clear, the adjective is something to describe the person, right? Yes, describe nouns, a so person. Okay. Debbie, did you mention anything? Tall. Tall. Yes. Okay, very nice. Excellent. What else? Fat. Fat. Okay. Thin, thin, tiny. Uh, thin. 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 Okay, very nice. Okay. I'm going to show you right now a list of adjectives because I have some of them in here just to, to present to you. I'm going to present to you these adjectives in a, in a simple way in here. I have a short list of adjectives. So I want you just to take a look because it's going to be necessary for you, okay? Okay. Here we have some adjectives, right? In this case, we're going to learn how to use them. For example, here we have some adjectives. We have the opposite and then, right? For example, oh my God, I'm sorry. We have that. Okay, I'm sorry, sorry, I move right here. Okay, yes. We have John and no, right? The opposite, John and no, John and no. Okay, these adjectives are going to be the opposite. Um, 
uh, we can make sentences using this kind of adjective, John and all. We're going to take a look at another one. Bad, good, right? Because the opposite, the devil and the, and the good person. Okay, very nice. Then we have the next one. We have, for example, sad and happy. Sad and happy, right? Sad and happy. So in this case, we have the opposite, sad and happy. These are adjectives. Adjectives, of course, only adjectives. Sad and happy. So we have the next ones, for example, the ones you mentioned before, fat, thin, right? Fat and thin, fat and thin. So in this way, we can use adjectives in order to talk about fat people or thin people, right? There's no problem. Okay, then we have the next one. Carly, straight, right? Straight. Carly, the one with the... And straight, the one who... Teacher, yes. and, and, and straight has another meaning. Hmm. Straight um, is pelo liso. Yeah. Ajá. Pero okay. straight tiene en otro contexto, tiene otro uso. Pero ah, en okay. este caso, straight, como a referirse a cabello, yeah. se puede utilizar así. Ok. Ok, very nice. Let's go with the next one. Which one do you think? Blonde. Ok. Um. Which one could be the next one? Blonde, fair. Okay. Fair and dark. It's, it's like to say color claro, verdad, oscuro. Mm -hmm. O puede decir rubio o oscuro, como usted lo quiera, right? Fair, dark. It's about uh, hair, right? We're talking about hair. Okay. Let's go with the next one. Shirt and long. Short and long, right? It's, that's, it's common adjectives. But I want you to take a look because you're going to be using a lot of time with them. Then we have the next one. New and no, old, right? New and no. old. New and no. old. Okay, let's go with the next one. High and low. High and low. Alto, bajo, right? Okay, very nice. We're talking about things. Okay. Let's go to the next one. This is about people. Short and tall. The one you were mentioned before, right? Okay. We go with the next one. Hard. Hard and soft. See the opposite. This is a rock, right? So it's hard. And soft, uh, a pillow, right? Because it's like, so sweet and so cute in order to be resting. Okay, soft. Let's go with the next one. If you have an equation, just let me know, okay? Ugly, good looking. So we can uh, use good looking as an adjective. Good looking, right? And ugly, of course, as an adjective. Uh, also remember that when we use handsome, we use handsome for boys, right? And beautiful for ladies. A las mujeres nosotros las decimos beautiful, los caballeros, ¿verdad? Pero eh, las mujeres a nosotros nos tienen que decir handsome, right? Handsome. Okay. Very nice. Y también se utiliza la palabra, el adjetivo cute. Like cute. Pero ese cute uh, normalmente lo utilizan más que todo para los bebés porque es algo como una ternura. Oh, so cute, qué tierno, qué bello, ¿va? O, por ejemplo, cuando su pareja les entrega un ramo de rosa, les lleva un pastelito, y, y como salen las películas, las novelas, que en la cama la llevan, paja. <ríe> no, mentira, sí. <ríe> ok, entonces, uh, y está en una situación de esas, usted le dice, oh, my love, you're so cute, ¿verdad? Oh, mi amor, tan lindo, right? Ok, ese cute. Es como eso, para decir tan tierno, tan detallista y todo eso, right? Okay, very nice. And then we have the next one. 
which is easy, difficult. Okay, easy and difficult. Okay, very nice. Let's go with the next one. We have here small, big, right? Small and big, small and big. Okay, very nice. Then we have the next one. And that is slow and fast. Slow and fast. Very nice. Those are common adjectives, but I'm trying to make you like, like refresh in order to remember all of them, right? Heavy and light. So, pesado, liviano, right? Heavy, light. Yes. And have made sense when sometimes we use the heavy as a phrase or in a conversation to to try to say that some situation are heavy, for example. Um, heavy situations. Uh, for example, give me a sentence or something. Uh, because I I already heard. And some movies, for example, in Back to the Future, mm -hmm. when, for example, he told about the situation uh, that it's have to relate with the future and something like that. And the expression that the boy says, it's like, oh, my God, this is too heavy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And, and it's like nobody can understand that because he was in the past. But the point is that it's common to use that word like an expression. Okay, what happened is that in movies or maybe in songs, um, there are many ways of using the language. Sometimes okay. uh, they use something that is not correct grammatically, but they use it in order to communicate and because they get accustomed to, they understand what they're talking about. So, mm -hmm. for example, if you, if you look for songs, there are many songs that are not uh, grammarly correct. But you understand what they are trying to tell, right? So it's like like you're going to make the reference in order to understand what they mean. Oh, okay. Okay. Yes. But heavy, yes, is como it's like to say algo complicado, right? Ah, oh, okay. Uh -huh. Okay. Very nice. And remember, light, también como verbo, significa iluminar, ¿verdad? Y también como eh, nombre significa luz. Como adjetivo, liviano. <laughs> Crazy, ¿verdad? <laughs> okay, but we have to get accustomed to. Okay, let's go with the next one. Quiet, noisy, right? Uh, that's normal in our places. Uh, everybody likes to live in a quiet place. Todos nos gusta vivir en un quiet place, ¿verdad? Pero muchas veces nos toca en el noisy. En el quiet place is when you just listen to um, some birds that are trying to sing something and you, ooh, you relax. You can be even at 12 uh, or maybe at 1 p.m. and you get in a hammock and you stay sleepy, right? But in the noisy way, it's not because people is like, la papa, la papa, la ceba, la papa, la papa, y que pasa las motos, que pasa y que pasa el vecino con música, el otro con música, que uff, right. So noisy place. It's worse on Fridays, teacher. Yeah. So noisy places, right? So we have differences. But those are adjectives. Adjectives, okay? Perfect. Then we go with the next one. This is really important for you in order to keep in mind because it's like to talk about spaces, right? We have the first one is narrow, wide. Narrow, el angosto, right? And wide, the one which is ancho, right? Okay, let's go with the next one. Strong and the weak. El fuerte y el débil, right? Strong and weak. Strong and weak. If you use weak, you can talk about even situations. I'm a weak person in this kind of problems. Soy una persona débil en este tipo de problemas. Okay? It's, it's, if you use it, it's normal. Okay? Very nice. Teacher and the pronunciation is the same as weak. Yeah. 
there are many words that sounds almost the same. Okay. Weak, like weak, they're weak. <laughs> right? So they sounds like the same, but you're going to get accustomed because the context. Because the context. For example, if, if we talk about weeks, about days, you're going to say, I work three times a week. So you are you are referring that three days during the week you work, right? But if you say, no, I cannot leave it because I'm a weak person, you're not referring to about weekdays. You're referring to you are not strong enough, right? Okay, let's go with the next one. Expensive, cheap. Expensive and cheap. So, car barato, right? Okay, very nice. Let's go with the next one. We have a rich, poor, right? Rich and poor. Okay, this rich and poor is about money, but we can use it in order to mind to. You can say you are poor of mind. You are rich in knowledge. We can use it to, to wear. And there is another word that is really common when we talk about millionaires. Wealthy. When we talk about wealthy people, it's like people who has a lot of money. It's more than rich. It's a billionaire, right? Millionaire people. So that's a wealthy man. Okay, people who uh, live in a in a paradise with money. So that's a wealthy one. Okay. Let's go with the next one. Cold and hot, right? Cold and hot. So we have these ones, cold and hot. Those are adjectives that are used in order to talk about. Okay, then we have the next one. About dogs, we have furious and calm, right? Furious, furious, ah, furious, right? And the calm. So those are adjectives, opposites, of course. Then we have here, empty and full, right? Empty and full. Empty, vacío, full, lleno, right? Of course, you can use full in order to talk about your stomach because you haven't eaten, right? So you are not full. Okay, very nice. Let's go with the next one. So we have wet and dry. Mojado y seco, right? Wet and dry. Okay, very nice. Then we have the next one. Hardworking and lazy. Hardworking and lazy. When we talk about hardworking, it's a persona trabajadora, ¿verdad? oficiosa, right? And lazy is la persona perezosa, right? Okay. Then we go with the next one that we have. Uh, intelligent. And we have this word stupid. In this case, it's something that is uh, we use a stupid in a, in a bad sense. A stupid. Okay. Ah, no, 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 no. Not just for that. Stupid is, just, of course, for people who cannot, like, be able to understand things clearly, to get ideas correctly. So we can use a stupid in that way, too. And for example, fool? Oh, fool, yes. Fool. And we can use silly, too. Ah, silly. Yeah. Yes. Fool. And Zilli. You can use both of them. Both it's of them. It's kind of the same meaning? Yes, it's kind of the same meaning. It's oh. just sounds more cute. It sounds <laughs> cute, silly, than it's stupid. Yeah, it, it's not as strong enough like to say stupid, right? <laughs> okay. Let's go with the next one. Friendly. I'm friendly. As I told you yesterday, if you add on before the word, you make them in a different way. Friendly, amistoso. I'm friendly, una persona que no es amistosa, como le decimos en español, ¿verdad? Creído, ¿verdad? Arrogante, ¿verdad? Agrandado, right? <laughs> okay, so 
that's an unfriendly pe people. So, eh, on, eso se llama prefix, se llaman prefijos, ¿verdad? Prefix, cuando va antes de la palabra, hace que signifique lo contrario. Right? Okay, very nice. So, right now, let's go with the next one. A child and confident. A child es una persona tímida y el confident es una persona segura de sí mismo, ¿verdad? Okay, una persona segura, confident. If you have a bad situation, try to be confident, right? Okay, very nice. Let's go with the next one. So we have the next one, which is kind, unkind. ¿verdad? Amable y una persona que pedante, ¿verdad? Que no es amable, right? Okay, kind, unkind. And if you can see, we have the on one more time before the word, right? Teacher, and for example, when when we say kind of. Kind of, okay, that's different. When you say kind of, eh, es una palabra compuesta. Kind of, mm -hmm. para preguntar tipo de. Por ejemplo, what kind of music do you like? What kind of food do you like? What kind no, of... For uh -huh. example, sorry, it's like uh, somebody told me about, for example, if you ask me, can you arrive to some place? And I say to you, kind of. Oh, kind of. Yeah. Mm -hmm. When I say kind of, I'm saying, um, yes, that's okay, see, right. Kind of. Mm -hmm. Oh, probably, it's probably. But it's not rolling the same. Uh, it's like um, an informal way. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Uh -huh. Es como decir, ah, bien. Cuando en español va, le dicen, vamos a ir allá al partido. Bien. Entonces, es, uno se queda como, bueno, será sí o será no. Me digo, bien. Right? Okay. <laughs> okay, very nice. Then we have the next one. Y aquí es donde viene lo que les explicaba ayer. Cuando utilizamos un adjetivo con... Eh, ed, ¿por qué? Porque también puede ser un verbo, pero en este caso como adjetivo lo utilizamos con ed para personas, ¿verdad? Tired, ¿verdad? Tired, tired, cansado, right? Tired. Ok. Y tenemos acá, por ejemplo, bored, bored, aburrido, ¿verdad? Bored. Ok, si la situación, si fuera por la situación que es aburrida, sería boring. ¿Verdad? Por decir, ah, um, the class is boring, por ejemplo. La clase está aburrida, ¿verdad? Se sí, sí va con ING. Pero si estamos hablando de que él está aburrido, es bored, con ED, right? Ok, very nice. Aquí tenemos la siguiente. Hungry. Hungry. Recordemos que este hungry se refiere a una persona que está hambrienta, ¿verdad? No la vayamos a confundir con angry. ¿Ok? ¿Ok? Noisy place. Ah, she <laughs> ok. So, angry, enojado, y hungry, hambriento. Don't get confused. Don't get confused, ¿ok? Because maybe you in a conversation, you want to say that you are hungry and you will say, I'm angry. And people will say, oh, how come, right? Okay, let's go to the next one. Thirsty. Repeat, thirsty. When we talk about thirsty people, is that you are, or you need to drink uh, water, right? You need to drink water. So that's thirsty, thirsty. Okay, very nice. Let's go with the next one. Frightened, frightened, frightened. Repeat. Frightened. Okay, when we talk about frightened, we talk about una persona que está asustada, ¿verdad? Aterrorizada, atemorizada, right? Frightened. Okay, very nice. 
Uh, let's go with the next one. Uh, and here's the word I told you, right? Angry. Angry. Okay. So this is the different angry with hungry. Let's go with the next one. Find a fine person. Fine person. Okay. Do you have any question? No? Yes, the last um, one, teacher. In uh -huh. the case of fry fry oh my god. Frightened. 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 Yeah. It, it's kind of the same of, of uh freak out. Or gout? Or, or maybe uh, well you say con la motemeroso, so it can be the same scared. like scared. Scary, yes. Scary, uh huh. Yes, scare, mm. scare, yes. It's the same. It's okay. a, a different way to make to say the, the same thing: frightened or scare. Okay, perfect. Do you have an equation? So, no, right? Some adjectives or too small. Yeah. Some adjectives. Or it's too small. Uh, there, there are many more. There are many more, right? These are just some basic uh, adjectives, that are, or at least the common ones. So in the case, you have to look for more of them in order to have some adjectives, right? And there are many as verbs. We are we have many verbs, but you have to look then in order to, to use it, right? Okay, so right now, what you got to have is to remember that if you want to say a positive comparison, you just need verb to be, and then us with the adjective and us, okay? Adjective and us, okay. But if you want to talk about a negative way, you have to use verb to be, not as adjective and us, right? In order to use it in a negative way. So that's the necessary thing that you need to do, okay? So do you have any question? No? Okay, very nice. Right now, so I want you to use, um, you're going to do some activity. You're going to create some sentences using as and as, right? You're going to create some sentences uh, talking about um, classes online, talking about classes uh face to face when we talk face to face are the classes that you take uh, in in the school in the building classes face to face and online classes you're going to create some adjectives to compare those situation you're going to compare um also to about your job you're going to compare um some situations like uh working in the morning working in the afternoon working at night so you're going to compare all the things that you really want okay Using adjectives, you can use the one that I already give you, or maybe you can use some other adjective that you have. Okay, I'm gonna push you to work in pairs in order to make it easier. Okay, is it clear? Yeah, you're going to create um, at least 10 sentences, 10 sentences by both, five and five, right? In order to talk about situations like classes face to face. Uh, online classes, uh, working in the morning, in the afternoon. You're going to talk about um, whatever you want, okay? At least what I want you is to use comparatives with adjectives. You can use uh, negative comparatives or uh, positive comparatives, okay? Oh. Okay. Okay, very nice. Chance, yes. Okay, there we go.
Ivet, ¿no parece con you? Hello, teacher. Ah, uh, I'm a movie Hola. with, with Hola. 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 Está saludando. Hola. 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 Aquí está, aprendiendo. Va a salir bilingüe también. <risa> Eso espero. Ok, sí. very nice. Le voy a agregar entonces acá con alguien más para que pueda trabajar. Está bien, gracias. Ok. Entonces, de, de online class is 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 not is not as efficiency as as presencial class. Mm -hmm. It's not efficiency as presencial class. Ah, la, para decir presencial es face to face. Ah, face to face. Ah, uh, sorry. Okay. Uh, face to face okay. classes. So yes. As face to face. Classes. 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 Okay. Classmate or class. Okay, classes. Okay. Uh, si lo hacen, si dicen class o clases, recuerden que lo hacen plural, pero si te dicen clases, uh -huh. es plural. Entonces el verbo to be tendría que ser are. Are. Ajá. Si dicen class, entonces ahí sí dejan, dejan el is. No hay problema. Ok. Are not. Are not. Ok. No, ya dije que. ¿Qué otro podemos poner? Eso no me dijo él. Póngale queja. Póngale queja, María. Hi, hi. Hi, teacher. I have a question. Yeah, tell me. Uh, because this, in this class, the. Uh, bueno, en español mejor. Uh -huh. Es que antes, cuando. No sé si usted le ha configurado algo. Que cuando forma grupos de un solo los acepta. Cuando, cuando forma grupos de un solo los mando para donde ustedes. Ajá. Yes. Ajá. Eso, eso usted lo configuró. Es que no es que antes me acuerdo que estaba hablando con David que uno tiene que aceptarlo. Ajá, Pero ahora y, no, de un solo no. Sí, de un solo los envío. Ajá. Ah, ah, Yo los envío. Usted de un lo configuró así. Ajá. <ríe> es que a veces, a, a veces eh, cuando lo hacía así se me quedaban algunos. No, no, no iban. Entonces, ya... Pero eso, ah. eso dice Mariano, que a él le tocó estar en un grupo con alguien que no estaba participando. Pero en la, en la clase anterior. Ah, sí, se acuerda que usted, usted me sí. mandó después con alguien más. Sí, entonces a mí me toca andar ahí siempre pendiente, revisando Reorden, que estén participando para luego enviarlo. Ajá. Ah. De igual manera, acá hay una, hay una opción para poder pedir que uno llegue, digamos, si usted no. Ah, sí, sí. Dice alguna. Es as hot as San Miguel.
Teacher, the orange group just the yes, point. Or yes. Yeah, we have a question. We have to talk about uh, the online classes between the face-to-face -face classes, right? Yeah, whatever you want to talk. You can talk about your uh, classes online, ah. classes face-to-face. -face. Uh, you, you want to talk about situations. You want to talk about whatever you want to talk. Okay? Uh -huh. The 10 sentences. Oh, okay, okay. The 10 sentences doesn't have to be related. Uh, yeah, it is. You are free to use about what you want to talk. Ah, okay. Okay, but remember using as and as in between as okay. adjectives. Okay. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. Here is the the pussy adjective. Mm -hmm. Go is a bit. Is. Uh, hmm. Go. Good. Good. Uh -huh. it's, it's an adjective. adjective. Yes. Yes. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay. Uh, let me see. If that in your sentences, you don't use the as and as. Yes, but, uh... Is no, la tome en cuenta, está mal. <laughs> work in the group is better to, uh, okay. Is a work in the group is better to. Uh, uh, okay. 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 Teacher, I'm confusing about the use the EST at the final of the adjectives. I don't know if that is correct. For example, if, if I say cutest. Uh, okay. You mean when you have to say plural? Yeah. Uh, adjectives are not uh, having changes. They are the same in plural or singular. Ah, oh, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Para decir, por ejemplo, la, la, las personas salvadoreñas son más amables que, que los hondureños. Esto sería, esto sería de Salvador. Quiere decir que los salvadoreños son más amables que los hondureños. Ajá. Entonces tienen que poner primero los hondureños y utilizar lo negativo. Ah, eso sería de Honduran Honduran people. people. Ajá. Are not as kind as Salvadoran people. Eso sería de Honduran people are not mm -hmm. are not as kind uh -huh. as kind as, 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 as Salvadorian people, people. Yes. 
Because if not, you, you should use uh, the another comparative that is uh, Salvadorian peoples are better than Hondurians. Uh, but this is another way of comparatives. Okay. Uh -huh. okay. Ok, entonces vamos con la 1, 2, 3, 4, con la 5. ¿Qué ponemos? Y lo más que tenemos es el más viejo, Ale. Faltan 7. Estamos perdidos, perdidos. ¿Por qué? Why? Mariano. ¿Por qué? Mariano. ¿Por qué? Ah, yo estaba hablando Mariano. solo. Mariano se duerme. No, estaba hablando solo y tenía el micrófono apagado. Entonces sería, is us. Is us. Bigger us. Teacher always, siempre va a ser is us, ¿verdad? Um, dependiendo, si está utilizando algo plural, tendría que ser are. Por ejemplo, ah, ajá, ¿qué ah, sería ese auxiliar? Sí, Siempre por, va sí. a ir is. Sí, un verbo, de los, un verbo to be tiene que ir. Por ejemplo, si yo digo ah, singular, okay. imaginémonos que digo My friend is as kind as my brother, por ejemplo. Está singular, ¿verdad? Ok. Copiado, Pero si digamos, digamos que yo digo My friends, ya en plural, ¿verdad? Are, are not as kind as my classmates, por ejemplo. Teacher, y si aplicamos el not ahí, porque digamos, yo quería hacer una oración, pero no le llamo sentido después cuando debí formarla. Eh, 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 porque... eh, va el not después del verbo to be. Ok, porque digamos, not, la oración ¿verdad? era... Ajá. O are not, is, como quiera el dos. Eh, my house is a... Is not a... Small... No, no, pero la habíamos hecho al inicio, que yo la hice. Ah, sí, al inicio. Is as small as Escalon House. Pero no tenía sentido, ¿verdad? My house is as small, is as, small as... Escalón House. Escalón House. Ah, ok. Sí, ahí, ahí no tiene, tiene sentido. Sen Lo único que está diciendo es que es, es tan pequeña como la que tiene el escalón. Ajá, entonces no tiene sentido porque lo que yo quería decir es que la mía es más chiquita que la de ella. Entonces, is ah, not... entonces sería your house is... Uh, que, que no es tan grande como la suya. It's not as big as my house. Pero él quería decir chiquita. que las casas del escalón. Quería decir... Ah, es, escalón houses are not. Ah, eso ya al revés, obvio. Sí, es sí. more than as my house. Ajá, correcto. Vaya, por ejemplo, ah, cuando okay. quieren hacer negativo con as, as, tienen que poner primero lo, de lo que quieren hablar mal, por ejemplo, ¿verdad? Okay. Uh -huh. Si quieren ah. decir en este caso, quieren decir que el escalón es lo que tiene las casas pequeñas, entonces van a poner grandes. Escal ah, grandes. Sí. Ok. Uh -huh. Entonces va escalón houses are not as uh -huh. small as my houses. Uh -huh. O my house, no sé cómo usted lo cree. Ajá. Así. Ah, no. Okay. no estamos perdidos, yeah. María. Sí, no, pero ya, ya, ya van agarrando. Por andar inventando, María. Pero de esa, de, de esa forma, como ya hoy ya no se le puede olvidar. No. Ah, ya vamos a ver, más rato voy a preguntar. Okay. Ok, ¿tiene alguna de No estoy pensando una, pero no sé cómo. Que las pupusas de maíz son las mejor, mejor que las de arroz. Oh, no, o podemos poner que la de arroz es tan buena revés, como la de maíz. Eso, no. eso, 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 eso. eso, eso. Uh -huh. Pero, ¿cómo sería de maíz? Sería de. Corn. Como, corn. Corn. O, pero, o corn yeah. es maíz o. Aunque sea harina, sí, no yeah. importa. Flour. Harina, ¿verdad? Flour. Corn flour. Teacher, así sería. Ok, si, si hablan de pupusas de maíz. Uh -huh. Corn flour. 
corn, yes, uh, corn flowers, fuses, right? Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. Corn flour. No, no, porque sería rice. ¿Qué, ¿Qué es lo que quieren decir? Las que son de maíz y las que son no, de. Que, que son Ajá, igual de digamos, buenas, o sea, para que no nos peleemos. Digamos que en este, en este caso, las de las clásicas son las de maíz, ¿verdad? entonces tendríamos que decir que las de arroz son tan buenas como las de maíz. Ah, ya, sí, si no quieren hacer diferencia así, sí lo pueden comparar igual, sí. Ajá. Uh -huh. Sería eh, de pupusas. The corn rice. pupusas, corn pupusas, corn pupus, ah. are as good as, y ahí ponen rice pupusas. Good as, y rice sería, ¿verdad? Rice. Yes. Pupusas. Y Sherry, el as, as es muy común en el, en, el, en el inglés. En el diario, en el diario habla. ¿En cuál? Eh, sí, sí, es bastante común. Ah, Por eso porque... es importante que nos acostumbremos porque es bastante común y nos podemos. Ah, porque en español uno compara, pero no es tan así como tanto como. Y... Ah, no, pero fíjese que de repente, por ejemplo, nosotros estamos. No, pero ese no es tan bueno como juega aquel. Ah, ah no, sí, sí. Ajá, entonces Ajá, él, no, no él, es lo mismo. Ajá, sí. nada más que nosotros le damos otra forma. Ajá, sí. Sí, porque Ajá. no estructuramos tanto. Ajá, correcto. Uh -huh. What do you want to say? Can they do or if you pass much of them for in a in a in a computer? Tu vis, perdón, como me dice. Tu vista es 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 dañada. Mm. Okay. Uh, spam, spam. Los hay de piso. Okay. Por ejemplo, sería sería when when you do exercise in the how do you say how do you say a mediodía no mid no 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 es midnight es pero at noon at noon at noon at noon at noon at noon at Okay, when you do exercise at noon, sería que, que tú sientes más sed que hacer ejercicio en la noche. Es como una comparación. Pero, ¿cuál, es, ¿Cuál adjetivo vas a utilizar ahí? Es, es el thirsty. 
When you do exercise, afternoon, uh -huh. at noon, as the día, as the morning, as thirsty. 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 to do exercise in the morning. Yes. Ok, vamos con la 7. ¿Qué podemos poner en la 7? Vamos a ver. Fisher, podemos solo presentar 6. <risa> solo 6 tienen. Solo 6 oraciones ¿Qué? tenemos. No, no se ve. Ah, no, 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 una mapa, ya, una más. Va, pues una más. Vamos a poner que de Mexican people. The Mexican people eat, eat more hot sauce, sería, que comen más salsa picante que los salvadoreños. Ah, ajá, sí, pero sola, solamente que ahí utilizaríamos el otro comparativo que les, les explicaba la vez pasada, hace, la vez pasada, hace un rato, que decimos, ahí utilizamos el more than. Ah, uh, they eat more spicy things than Salvadoran people. Esta es otra forma de comparativo también. Pero, pero sí lo podemos utilizar. Sí, nada más que ahorita es el as as. Yo pensé que no, sí, o sea, sí lo pueden utilizar para comparar, pero lo que quiero explicarles es que ahorita es este as as. No por eso, pero en el as as no lo podemos usar entonces. Ah, puede ser. Sí, Mexican está más complicado. Sí, está más complicado. Claro. Ajá. Lo que puede decir, por ejemplo, Mexican people eat as uh, pues sí, people don't eat as spicy as uh, Mexican people. Spicy food. Oh, Nada más que ellos no utilizan verbo to be, sino que utilizan la, el simple presente. Yo lo iba a hacer ese día. Ok, ¿cómo, cómo fue? Salvador, de Mexi Salvadorian people. Ah, Salvadorian. Don't eat spicy food as Mexican people. Don't eat spicy, spicy food. Don't or doesn't eat as people, porque people es plural. Sí, as Mexican okay. people. Yes, I just don't. Mm -hmm. Entonces sería Salvadorian people don't eat spicy food. Mm -hmm. Spicy food as Mexican people. As Mexican food. Spicy food as Mexican people, yes. Spicy food as... Ok. Bye. Ok, siete, finally. Uh, but, but in the, the seven, Salvadorian people don't, don't ask it. Don't eat. Don't eat as, as a spicy food. A mí me pasó. A mí me pasó. Yo le pasé con Sima Uno. Okay. Okay. Uh, as Mexican people, es que al revés Sí. Ajá, ok.
Ya lo que yo oído. Okay, very nice. Do you finish? Yes, teacher. Yes. I think so. <laughs> I believe so. <laughs> Ok, very nice. Um, vamos a escuchar, por ejemplo, Domingo. ¿Con quién trabaja usted? Ah, Mariano, sí, te levanta la mano. ¿Usted quiere iniciar? Yes, teacher. Ah, very nice. Ok, Mariano. ¿Con quién va a ir usted? With Danny. Ah, ok, ok, very nice. Excellent. Después entonces va Domingo. ¿Con Belén trabajó, verdad? Yeah, en Ivet. Sí. Ok, very nice. Entonces, ahorita Mariano con Debbie y luego Domingo con Belén e Ivette. Ok, I start. Uh, my, the number one, uh, my dog is as uh, hungry as other dogs. Ok, very nice, good. Uh, my house is as bigger as my brother's house. Okay, very nice. And the other escalon are not smaller as my house. Are not small as my house. Small. Mm -hmm. uh, yes. And other corn pupusas as good as rice pupusas. <laughs> okay, very good. And Debbie? Que pilas, Mariano. <laughs> my mother is as more curious as my dad. Is as curious uh, as my dad. As cur uh, curious as my dad. Eh? Fu furious. Furious. Ah, okay. <laughs> Very nice. Furious. <laughs> the modern music are not better as classic music. Okay, are not better as classic music, yes. The modern music sería, are as not better as classic music. Are not, are not. Are not, y el as iría antes. As better, no, are not as better as uh, Are not music. as better as classic music, ah, okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. The Nissan car as beautiful as Toyota. The Nissan car is. Eso lo dijo Mariano, que con. Ah, okay. The Nissan car as beautiful as Toyota. Are, are the Nissan cars, si lo hacen en plural, the Nissan cars ah. are as beautiful as Toyota. As Toyota. Ah, okay, okay. 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 The yes. soup, the soup as hot as coffee. <laughs> the soup <laughs> is as hot as coffee, yes. Very nice. The soup is hot as, as coffee. Okay, very nice. Ah, Ivet says never. Tiot is more beautiful. <laughs> oh, Obviously. Yes. Sí, y, y aquí dice alguien, no, que mi auto iba a decir alguien aquí. <laughs> y nosotros hablando de Toyota inicia, aquí va a decir, no, mi auto iba a decir un alumno aquí. Mi Audi es el mejor. <laughs> Amen. Ok, very my nice. My bicycle. Ah, oh, yes, my classic. My BMW. <laughs> my Lambor. <laughs> ok, very nice. Um, Vamos a, eh, you finish, ¿verdad, Debbie, en, en Miami? Yes, yes. Ok. Uh, siempre recordemos que si vamos a utilizar verbo to be, ¿verdad? Eh, tenemos que tener en cuenta que si hablamos en plural, el verbo to be tiene que ser are. Si hablamos en singular, el verbo to be tiene que ser is, ¿verdad? Ok, very nice. Y luego uh, es importante también recordar que yo puedo utilizar el presente simple, también en estas oraciones. Como lo vimos en, en el cuadro detallado. ¿verdad? Yo puedo utilizarlo y decir. 
um, my father don't play soccer as well as my uh, brother, por ejemplo. Ok. Hay que comparar que no juega mi papá, no juega tan bien como juega mi hermano. Ok, very nice. Uh, vamos a escuchar ahora a Domingo, Belén y a Ivette. <coughs> Who's going to start? Yvette? Domingo? Uh, me. Okay. Go ahead. Working as a team is as good as working alone. Uh, My working, pronunciation. Wor working? Working as a team is as good as working alone. Ah, okay. Very nice. My pronunciation is it is not as good as yours. Ah, okay, very good. Yes, it's correct. Your laptop is it is not as modern as mine. Very nice, good. Domingo. Excuse me. Okay. Ah, estaba viendo que me faltó el auxiliar ya que lo el, tuve. Okay. Ah. Okay. Permítame. Eh, eh, Chinese Chinese Spar Park is not as good as the original ones. Originally. Okay. Eh, the online class is a particular Practical as the face to face the class. Okay. My word is a good as you. Okay, very nice. Excellent. Okay, and my sentences are uh, the only the online classes are as good as face to face classes. Okay. The cats are as cute as, as dogs are. Okay. Uh, listening music is as hilarious as dancing in group. <laughs> okay. And the last, one, the last one is whatever you want is as magnificent as a sleep all day. <laughs> magnificent is a sleep all day. Yeah. Okay. Very but nice. I have I have a question uh, with two sentences. The first one is is sleep or a sleepy. Okay, in the case, uh, sleep is, repeat the sentence. Oh, yeah. Uh, eat whatever, whatever you want is as magnificent as a sleep all day. Drink water is as magnificent as a sleep all day. Eat, eat whatever you want. Eat whatever you want is as magnificent at as a sleep all day. Yeah. Okay, in that case, you are you are not using uh adjectives, you're using verbs. But it's correct too. Ah, uh -huh, okay. You're using simple present. Okay. The other question is about the whatever. Whatever it's whenever when you wrote. Um when you write whatever in lo que sea, ¿verdad? Cualquier cosa. Yeah. Whenever, donde sea. Oh, ok, ok, ok. Mm -hmm. And the last one, it is okay to say eh, the cats are as cute or cutest as dogs cute. are. Cute. cute. And no. it's okay to say are at the final of dogs. Uh, it's, it's, it's up to you. If you want to add at the end, it's okay. If not, it's correct too. Okay, that's okay. all. Okay, remember adjectives they are they don't have plural things. Los los adjetivos no tienen no sufren modificaciones por plurales. Ellos ya son plurales o singulares por sí solos. Si si yo digo por ejemplo, um, cats are beautiful. Digo los gatos son hermosos. No tengo que decir ah. cats are beautiful. Ya no, porque ya lo plural lo llevan los cats. Da el el adjetivo ah, se sí. adapta. Okay, okay. Okay, very nice. Ahora vamos a escuchar a el equipo de Walter y Vanessa, ¿verdad? 
Yes. Right. Yes. Okay. Bonnie, can you start? Oh my God. Uh, can you hear me, teacher? Ustedes hicieron 18. Ah, yeah, right. Can you hear me? Yes. Can you hear me? Yes. Okay. My cat isn't as big as my dog. My car is as old as my brother's car. The pupusas are as delicious as tamales. Mm -hmm. This sofa is as expensive as that TV. San Salvador is as hot as San Miguel. The traffic in Chalatenango isn't as saturated as Soyapango. My salad is as colorful as you want. Little sister is bad as papayons. Okay, and... wait, 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 wait. Uh, my salad is colorful as yours. I think I said yours. Uh, you want... Y en la siguiente de arriba is saturated as in soyapango. In soyapango. As okay. in soyapango. Uh -huh. Okay. Walter. My shoes are as new as my father's shoes. Some people are as slowly as a turtle when they walk. Okay, walk. as a slow. A slow. Porque slowly ya sería adverbio, pero en este caso... Tendría que llevar otra posición. Ah, slow, ahí. Ok. Slow. You are smart as my sister. The new movie in the future theater is as boring as the last one we have seen. Ok, en yeah. este caso, uh, en, yes. en este caso, Walter, perdón, que estamos hablando de que la movie es aburrida, ¿verdad? Yes. Entonces, ahí sería, que Una cosa o una situación, ¿verdad? ¿Cómo tendría que ir el adjetivo, dijimos? Boring. Boring. Boring, Bien, ok. Eh. Ok, very nice. The physical homework is a confusing y, as the math homework. Yes, the physical homework is as confusing as the math homework. Very nice. Some universities aren't as expensive, expensive as other in El Salvador. Okay. Expensive. Latin countries are, are as corruption as African countries. Latin countries are as corrupting. Corrupting. Oh, corrupt team uh -huh. without O. Oh. ING. Did I ING? Ah, corrupt team. Mm -hmm. Okay. My job is as stress. Stressful as your, <laughs> as your <Stress>. university. <laughs> 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 okay, as your university. Uh, uh, the the two uh, last one, Juvan. I am as lazy as, 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 you, as you are, and I'll be as successful as my dad. <laughs> I'm, as as I'm as lazy as you are. Eso está bueno. <laughs> <laughs> okay, very nice. That's good. Perfect. Okay, uh, very good. Solo ahí lo, lo que les iba corrigiendo, ¿verdad? Ok, very nice. Ahora vamos a escuchar al último equipo, que es el de Rosibel con Aminda, ¿verdad? Ok. Ok, very nice. Ok, so, I start. Uh, the online classes as, uh, are not, perdón, are not uh -huh. as efficient as face-to-face -face classes. Okay, very nice. Uh, the morning classes, the, mor the morning class, 
is at better as to evening class. It's evening class, okay. It's the second and the third sentences. Monday is as busy day as Wednesday. Okay. And the Honduran people are not as kind as Salvadorian people. Okay. And when you are not as asleep well, mm -hmm. you feel tired. When you don't day. sleep, when when you don't sleep as well, as you feel tired. Okay. Uh, en este en este caso sería prácticamente un conditional. <laughs> yes. When you don't sleep well, you feel tired. Okay, you don't feel tired. Okay. And the last one is when you do exercise at noon, as thirsty or thirsty is sediento. Yes, thirsty. Thirsty as to do exercise in the morning. Mm hmm. That's it. That's it. Okay, very nice. And Rosibel? Okay. <laughs> Rosibel Ro had a family party in your house and she had very nice. Uh -huh. So very right now you are in the party. <laughs> <laughs> okay, very nice. Okay. okay, good. Very nice, students. So, so in order to understand this, uh, remember, adjectives are going to help us in order to talk about how something is. Los adjetivos nos ayudan a hablar sobre cómo es algo, o cómo es una persona, o cómo es una situación. Este as, as, nos ayuda para comparar cosas. Luego tenemos el otro comparative, que ese creo que también lo vieron, ¿verdad? En módulos anteriores, para decir more than, ¿se acuerdan? Para decir, por ejemplo, my... My, uh, por ejemplo, my friend is more interesting than my, than your friend, por ejemplo. ¿Verdad? Para decir más que. Y tenemos el superlativo, que ese nos sirve para decir que es el más, ¿verdad? You're the most intelligent in the class. Tú eres el más inteligente en la clase. Ok, pero esa es otra forma de aplicarlo. ¿Se recuerdan de eso, verdad? Cuando lo vieron. That yes. is when we agree the EST and some adjectives, right? Uh, yes, we add uh, in the short adjectives. A los ah, okay. adjetivos cortos son los que les agregamos cuando hablamos, si el more than, el better, el, el er, ¿verdad? Er. Maybe uh -huh. that, and, and that's what I was thinking when I'm use the cutest. That's what I'm confusing about. Ah, uh, yes, but the, in the case, it's no modification about the, the plural is modification about the superlative. Yeah, yeah, the yeah. The cutest yeah. person. Pero ahí le está diciendo la persona más tierna del mundo. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And for example, Tyler, aunque, aunque Tyler después de que le haya dado la serenata y las flores y el chocolate, después vuelva otra vez. Okay. Pero en ese momento usted le dijo que eres the cutest in the life, right? Okay, okay. ¿Cómo, se ríen? Tyler... ¿Cómo, ¿Cómo se ríen? Como que adiviné. <laughs> <risa> ok, <ajá. risa> Ok, entonces esos son otro tipo de eh, usos que le damos con los verbos, que pueden ser superlativos o comparativos, que eso también más adelante le puede traer un pequeño refuerzo, ¿verdad? Para que recordemos un poco. Ok, ahora vamos a pasar a lo que es eh, esta parte del libro. Can you tell me if you can? Yes. We... Yes, here. Ok, do you remember yesterday? ¿Se recuerdan que me salté esta parte, verdad? Ayer. Les dije, me voy a saltar esta parte porque les quiero explicar esto. Y me, me dediqué a explicar lo de los comparativos. ¿Se recuerdan? Ok, entonces ahorita tenemos que trabajar en eh, esto que tenemos acá. Tenemos, por ejemplo, eh, lo que es la, la significado de ciertos... Situation que están acá, ¿verdad? Vamos a ver aquí a encontrar este si le pertenece al online sales, al catalog, al direct mail, o al retail outlets o a los wholesalers. Vamos a buscar cuál de estos que están acá es por cada uno de ellos. A modo de que tenemos 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, ¿verdad? 
a encontrar cuál va con cuál. Y luego nos vamos a ir a trabajar, ¿verdad? siempre van a ir a trabajar en parejas. Van a ir a trabajar a leer este párrafo. ¿Verdad? Tienen que leer este, estos tips, que aquí les dan unos tips para uh, tener éxito en un retail's employment, retailer's employment, ¿verdad? Para aplicar sobre un retail. Aquí les dan unas some tips, ¿verdad? Aquí les dan some tips. Después de eso tenemos que contestar estas preguntas que están acá, ¿verdad? Según, según las tips que les dan ahí, ¿ok? Entonces eso lo vamos a ir a hacer ahorita en la clase. Lo vamos a, practic eh, a practicar en... Esta parte de encontrar lo que está, cuál va con cuál acá. Y luego vamos a leer estos tips y vamos a contestar estas preguntas que están acá referente a esto. ¿En qué page? Uh, page 16. En page 14. Page 14, exercise okay. 3. Page 16. The whole page 16. Exercise 2. Okay. Okay, very nice. We're going to work, but right now I'm going to recreate the groups. Let me here. Okay, let me here. Yes. Okay, there we go. Mariano, what happened? Dice, well, you must pay a woolless seller and retailers commission. This option should be able to get your allow rate, rate with retailers. Well, you mm -hmm. must... Okay, okay, I get it. Retailers of catalog direct me. The second one, you can stock inventory and full fulfill orders yourself or use a fulfillment service to handle your order. Eso um, quizás era en la sale? de no. Mm, stock no, inventory puede, and fulfill puedes. order yourself. And your full service to handle your order. It turns out how this catalog online sales. You may have a change or the independent retail sell your product for you. Um, you can take orders over a toll free number or website or re Esa creo que es la primera. Es la ah, sí, sí. Eso online. Provide on the email, please. 
or you can have customer mail order request. Uh, the second, I think, is the catalog and direct mail. You can stock inventory and fulfill orders. Yes, Esa. I I guess. Yes, I think. Quiero ver. Ay, no lo pude pegar. Um, cataloging on direct email. The second one. Hello. ¿Cuánto tiene tu bebé? Año nueve mes. Está chiquito. Está chiquito. Los terribles dos casi. And the third one, it could be wholesalers. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. have all of them. Okay, the, mm -hmm. the first one, it will be. Uh, let's say, Albert. then the second one, it will be house and direct mail. The third one will be online sellers, and the fourth one, cold sellers, right? Uh, no, uh, the, the last, no, the fourth one, it will be online sellers, right? Uh -huh. Okay, okay. And the third one, it will be whole sellers. Yeah, the first one will be retail outlets, then carols and direct mail, then call sellers, and the last one online sellers. Let's move on. Let's move on. Okay. So if you want to one one and one, you okay. can start. Yeah, okay. for example, you will read a uh, practicing mm -hmm. as key. Dice que tenemos, tenemos que leer este párrafo y luego responder las preguntas abajo. Ok. Uh, we have different sentence here. Can you start, Domingo? We, we pre your prioritizing is key. Prioritizing is key. Uh -huh. This is prioritizing is key. This is shoulderly time limits and the the lines. Every as you one box can can help make retice stay focus as if focus on the on own shoulders. Eliminating, eliminating extra time. Speak where is a short, short, is, is short, no? short, 
Sean D. Sean D. Sean B. 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 Letting go is a must. Successful retailers analyze these situations as opportunities to learn from versus beating themselves uh, over. The more retailers know through hard data, the better they are, the better they are in supporting their customers. The customer uh, training staff is better. The key is the uh, invest invest time and dollar in into as uh, into. Your employees to create the work, work of straw and social this is and as the result a strong shell and direct mail and tons. Why you want say a wholesalers and retailer commissions? This the option idea. should be able to get lower run rate with retailers. A, because it's a catalog in your mail uh, because of a commission. While, while you must pay a wholesaler and retailer this option should be able to get you a low rate Oh, should be cut out from virus. You should be able to get the other way with this thing. You can be stuck in battery and you feel harder as yourself. This is on lay sales. El segundo. Mm -hmm. 
The first one was a <laughs> but we say outward is the store that that the Comprehension question below. Quiero ver usted. Mariana. Hola, es que se le, se le oye bien cortado, no lo entiendo. De veras. ¿Y ahora? Igual. Ahora sí se escucha. No, se escucha un poco más. Si quiere, léalo. The following habits are repeatedly observed among many successful retailers. Prioritizing the is key, is key. Schedule, schedule limit, time limits, and deadlines. Even as your outboss can help make retailers stay focused and on schedule, Eliminating extra time, extra time expense where it should be. Let go is mask. Successful retailers analyze this situation as the opportunities to learn from various viruses bearing themselves up over. The more retailers know down our data, the better they are is supporting their customers. Training staff is vital. The key is to invest time and dollars into the employees to reap the rewards of a strong associates and as a result, a strong sales. Knowing the companies is a priority. Ah, the company. Competition, oh, well, dyslexic. <laughs> Knowing the competition is because, because they have a strong associates. When invest. And trying employees. Number three, why is good ways to get to know the competition in Spanish? ¿Qué es lo bueno? ¿Qué es el mundo? 
¿Qué es lo que se obtiene al conocer la competencia? Qué es lo bueno que se obtiene al eh, conocer la competencia. Yes. Eh, this answer is are in the four paragraph. Knowing uh -huh. the competition is a priority. Uh, this type of analysis allow Correct. retailers to recognize new yes. industry trends, mm -hmm. missing opportunities, new strategies to compete for sales and other ways to stay afloat in the competitive retail marketplace. So the answer what is, what is a good way to get to know the competition? Teacher, we're done. You finished already? Yep. Okay, so you have the answer for the four uh, here. Yeah. Awesome. It's... And you find uh, the four uh, concepts the one what about? Yeah. Uh, uh, let me see. Rosy, if you can up, please. Uh, yeah, uh, you, see, you see my screen? Yeah, I see. Cloud. Just okay. uh, the okay. other exercise. Okay. If you can put it in there. <laughs> Those are the answer, teacher. Ah, okay, very nice. Okay, so in a few minutes, I'm going to be back. I'm going to check it, okay? Okay. okay. Do you finish? Not yet. Not yet? I won't teach you. Not yet. Okay. Can help make retailers as this person on the scale. Retailers, they fuck you on and on scale. In the very exercise, and where you can show. I was telling somebody from Dublin for to say that because it's been I make everything so good. Why the sales become strong where well, retailers invest in, in training employees? The training staff is vital. The key is in the same going to employ to to live with the pain. The reward of the 
Chicago. So let's recoger to read the reward of from a secure and a social service. Accessories as a result of strong sales. What do you guys? Because with the training, you can get strong sales. Strong sales. Strong sales. Strong sales. Strong associates and as a result, strong sales. What is a good way to get to know the computer? What is a good way? How the competition is a priority to describe a nice and lovely place to recognize the individual price with the opportunities and the studies what is a good way to get to know the competition? We always recognize new industry friends, new opportunities. Um, and it's a good way to get the new competition. Mm -hmm. To recognize new industry trends, missile opportunities, new strategies to compete yourself. Recognize, recognize new industry strengths, Mrs. Liberdues, new strategies to compete for sales. New services to compete for sales.
Okay, very nice. Do you all finish? Yes, teacher. Okay, very okay. nice. Okay, but I'm going to check it um, next class on Monday, okay? Because right now it's almost 10, so it's time to leave. But before, I'm going to take the attendance list, okay? As soon as you listen your name, please tell me present, okay? Okay. Okay. Hey. Adela Trinidad González Consuera. Aminda René Figueroa de Manzano. Belén Patre García. Present teacher. Okay. Carlos William Membreño Núñez. Debbie Yasmin Girón Ramírez. Present teacher. Okay. Domingo Alexander Ever... Domingo Alexander González. Present teacher. Okay, Domingo, um, you have to stay with me after the rest of the class leave, okay? Okay. Okay. Ever de Jesús Candray Montano. Jose Roberto Martínez Bernabé. Leticia Guadalupe García de Miranda. Present teacher. Okay. Teacher. Yes. I have problem with the internet, so I know I can't participate with my classmates. Okay, very nice, very nice. Mm -hmm. Mariano Jose Paca Santa Maria. Present teacher. Okay. Oscar Arnulfo Villatoro Herrera. Rosibel del Carmen López. Okay. Salvador Augusto Sorto Rivas, Sonia Ivet Alvarenga, present. Okay, Vanessa Noami Reyes Lemos, present. Okay, Walter Omar Castaneda Perlera, present. Okay, Wendy Karina Morales Amay. Okay, students. So see you on next class. See you Monday. Okay. Have a nice weekend. Good night. Good night. Thank you. Bye bye. bye. Good night, teacher. Bye. Bye. Ok, mister. Uh, este espacio es para usted, ¿verdad? Por si tiene alguna duda en cuanto a su, a su tiempo o, digamos, los temas que hemos visto o a lo que usted ha visto durante el transcurso para que usted los pueda eh, esclarecer si tiene alguna duda. Eh, con la clase... Estamos bien, teacher. Dice, good. Eh, solo que con los... Con lo que estábamos viendo en el día de los adjetivos, los adjetivos, eh, no me quedo un, un poco confundido con, con lo que estaban, los ejemplos que estaba dando. Con los adjetivos, ah, le quedó, uh -huh. le, le queda duda en, en cuál. Eh, eh, cuando los que presentó hoy al inicio de los, eh, los, que, los comparativos, por eh, ejemplo, de Fang y fang, Things, eh, ah, o ajá. Como en esa parte, estos son, son, todos están como adjetivos, unos con, pero al final solo, pues, solo había uno que quedaron, eran solo como Thirsty, Pristinetti, Hungry, Fang. Okay. Ajá, ajá. Vaya que. En los primeros iban los positivos, por ejemplo, si decía gordo, decía el delgado, si decía alto, decía bajo, si decía grande, decía pequeño, si decía rápido, era lento, nuevo, viejo. Y ya nosotros solo eran adjetivos de estado de ánimo ¿verdad? o de estado de situaciones, por ejemplo, teníamos el de hungry, hambriento, yes. el de thirsty, sediento, el de frightened, de asustado, y así sucesivamente. Uh -huh. Ah, ok, ya entendí. Oh, sí. 
Ajá. Sí. Entonces, eso, eso nos servía a nosotros para poder hablar de una situación que alguien tenga, ¿verdad? digamos que está asustado, que está enojado, que está hambriento, que está... Eh, parece que había uno que decía... No me acuerdo si era... Después de Frank me estaba hablando que decía... Ah, Hombre. fine, fine, ¿verdad? Fine. De, bien, ajá. Entonces son estados de ánimo que tiene una persona. Entonces esos adjetivos también son... Eh, esa es la diferencia, que uno... Los primeros eran el, 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 uno con lo positivo. Para decir lo que... Si este es flaco, este es gordo. Si es este alto, este es bajo. Y los otros solamente para decir estados de ánimo. Por ejemplo, sediento, cansado, lo, como lo estábamos diciendo ahí. Ok, y una, tengo una duda. Y cuando uno dice fine, está bien, ¿va? ¿Cuál? Fine, es bien. Ajá. Bien, sí, Los, bien. Ah. Y cuando uno dice, estaba viendo unos, unos, unos tics en, en Twitter o en Instagram, uno dice, ok, good. Good. Uno es, ajá, ajá, dicen, ok, good. O sea, se ocupan el ok, good. Ok, good. Ah, sí. eh, esa es una es. forma de decir, ah, ok, bien, bastante. Es igual, es igual. Uh -huh. es, o, es, es que good o, es o bueno, informal. good es bueno. Ajá. Ajá. Entonces, okay. lo que pasa con el good es que good sirve para decir, por ejemplo, uh, I'm good, I'm, este, pero es bueno, uh, estoy bien. Y el fine también es como decir bien, excelente. Ajá, entonces así se utiliza. No sé si alguna duda. No, teacher, uh, por el momento voy entendiendo. Voy a estar entendiendo en la clase y creo que tal vez eso es la pronunciación que a veces me, me trago. <ríe> sí, eh, ahí más que todo de ir, eh, ¿cómo se llama? practicando, ¿va? por ejemplo, repetirlo cuando yo les pongo que repitan las, las expresiones eh, si por ejemplo hay alguna alguna parte de, de leer cuando los mando a trabajar en parejas hay que leer textos o hay que practicar las conversaciones, hay que practicarla porque eso es lo que nos ayuda a nosotros a la pronunciación, ¿va? a poder soltar un poco ese, ese nerviosismo o esa tensión de, de producir unas palabras, de eso se va poco a poco Ok. Uh -huh. De ahí, pues, eh, lo demás, o como lo, lo iba mencionando, es trabajar en manejar las estructuras, memorizarse esas estructuras. Sí. Ajá. Es... Por el momento no, no tengo dudas así fuertes. O sea, no, no, no tengo problemas hasta ahorita. Todo está clarito como el agua. Ahorita sí. Yes. O, o como Ajá. el chocolate. Es igual. Es okay, very nice. Ok, mister, entonces, um, cualquier cosa, usted sabe que ahí estamos a la orden. Eh, e igual en la clase, si usted tiene alguna duda, pues no, no tenga temor en preguntar, ¿verdad? Que estamos para esclarecer cualquier duda que se tenga. Eh, de igual, pues yo siempre estoy pendiente ahí para cualquier cosa. Gracias, teacher. Ok, have a good night, mister. Ok. See you have Monday. Good night. Good night. Yes.